This is part 71 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to call a live weather web service that returns JSON data using jQuery Ajax. Here is what we want to achieve. We are going to provide the name of the city and the country within which that city is present. Once we click this button, Get Weather Data, we want to call this live weather web service and display the weather information as you can see here. So let's see how to achieve this using jQuery Ajax. So first, let's inspect this live weather web service. If we navigate to that link, we will land on this page. And notice, we have got two URLs here, which is going to return us city weather. So we provide the city name and the country within which that city is present. We are going to get the weather information. We have two URLs here. One is going to return the weather data in JSON format, and the other will return in XML format. Let's inspect the service which returns JSON data. So what we are getting back here is a JSON object. First, let's look at the URL. Notice the data that we are sending to the server. We have a query string and the name of the query string is Q equals the name of the city and the country within which that city is present. And what we get back is a JSON object. Here, we've got a lot of weather information, but the purpose of this demo Let's just display the main weather. So at the moment, the main weather in London is rain. And the description is light rain, as you can see here. And if you look at where this data is present, the JSON object that we will get back is having a property called weather. And that property has that data. And if you look at what we have you know, in that property, it's actually a, a JSON array. Notice the square brackets at the beginning and, and at the end. That's an array. So if we want to retrieve the main weather information, then we will have to use weather of 0 dot main. Similarly, if we want to get the description of the weather, then we will have to use weather of 0 dot description. So let's go ahead and call this web service using jQuery Ajax. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here, I have already typed the required HTML, which is going to produce this UI that you see on the slide. So the HTML that we have here is straightforward. We've got a table which contains two TRs, and each TR has got two TDs. The first TD here contains the literal text city, and then we have a text box to capture the city in the second TD. Similarly, within the second TR, in the first TD, we have the literal text country, and then a text box to capture the country. And then we have got a button and which says get weather data. When we click that button, that's when we want to call that web service and retrieve the weather information. And we want to display the weather information in this result div. So within our script section, we already have the ready function wired up. So when we click this button, btn get weather, that's when we want to issue an Ajax request. So let's find the button using the jQuery ID selector. When we click that, we want to execute some code. So what do we need to do first? We need to retrieve the name of the city and the country. So I'm going to use a variable. Let's call this request data equals. Now city text box has got an ID. And the ID is txt city. And to retrieve the value from that, let's use the val function. And similarly, so to the city name, we want to append comma. And to that, we want to append the name of the country. And the country name text box ID is txt country. So that's the data that we want to send to the web service. So now let's go ahead and use the jQuery Ajax function. And let's specify the options. So the first option that I'm going to specify is the URL that we want to call. So the URL that we want to call is this. OK, so that's the URL. So let's copy that and paste it right here. And we want to issue a GET request. So I'm going to use the method option and specify the request type is going to be GET. And now let's specify the data that we want to send to the server. So if you look at the URL right here, the name of the query string is Q. OK, so here the property name is going to be Q. And the data that we want to send to the server is present in this variable request data. And the type of data that we are expecting back from the server 
is JSON. And when the request successfully completes, we want to associate a callback function. Now the JSON object that we are going to get back from the web service will be received by this data parameter. Okay, so that will contain all the weather information. We want to display the main weather information within this result div. So let's copy the ID of the result div. And here I'm actually going to create another variable. I'm going to call this result element equals, let's use the jQuery ID selector again, and find the div element. Okay, so this is the div element within which we want to display the weather information. So result element dot HTML. So what do we want to display? We want to display that literal string which says weather colon and we have the data parameter which is going to receive that JSON object and this is going to have this weather property. Okay, so data dot weather of zero because that's an array dot main and to that let's append an HTML break and to that, let's append this literal text description and we want to retrieve the description of the weather. So let's copy this and here the name of the property is going to be description. Okay, so that's all there to it. Let's save the changes and load this web form. Let's provide the name of the city as London and the country as UK. And when we click get weather data, look at that, weather is rain and the description is light rain. Now look at what's going to happen if we provide an invalid name of the city. So for example, let's say XYZ is the name of the city and ABC is the name of the country. And when we hit enter, look at what we get back. We're actually getting a JSON object again here. And this JSON object contains a property called message. And it says error not found city. So similarly, if we type any invalid city and country name, you know, we want to display that error information. Okay, so what I'm going to do for that is here, I'm going to use a simple if condition. If this data parameter, if it contains message property, okay, if that is not equal to null, then what does that mean? That means we've got this error message information, right? So in that case, we want to display this string within the div element. So we have the result div element, so result element dot HTML and what I want to display there is whatever we've got in the message property. Okay, else you know we want to call the web service. So let's go ahead and save those changes, reload our web form and let's provide XYZ as the name of the city and ABC as the name of the country, get weather and look at this, error not found city. If we give it a valid city name, for example, Bristol in UK, click get weather data, you know, it's still processing the request, so weather drizzle, light intensity drizzle. So here we have the HTML, here we have the jQuery code. Thank you for listening and have a great day.